Do you know that in Arabic we have three levels of number? How is that? In English we have only two classifications, singular and plural. The singular if I'm talking about only one thing, and the plural if we are talking about more than one. But in Arabic we have an additional level lies between these two, the dual. So in Arabic singular is like in English if we are talking about only one thing, the dual if we are talking about two things, and the plural in Arabic if we are talking about more than two. And each one of these levels is completely independent. I mean it will be having its own independent pronouns, it will be getting unique prefixes and suffixes, and it will also have its own verb conjugations. See the lesson in the video description.